schmack em a gob you awesome people out there. Hey, <clears throat> I did this like a year ago, didn't put it up till last week, but somebody brought it to my attention. I did not mention Zero the Hero off this album while I was doing track by track. So after the premiere, those who saw the premiere saw my mistake. Because when the premiere was over, I deleted it. So here I am a week later to do, well, two weeks later actually. Um, because next week will be a Sabbath review as I'm recording this. Oh, why do I bring up such stuff that's so trivial and doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. But what does matter is that I'm putting both these albums against each other. Born Again versus Ultimate Sin. Which one do I like more? Come on. I mean, that's my personal opinion. This album has its moments. Actually, I used to hate it more. But, you know, I come around. There's some songs I actually love, always loved off this album. And I'll bring those up when, I go to, when it goes head to head. I already know one that won because I watched the premiere and I go, okay, you know. Well, I, well, I'm not giving nothing away. Let's just say it's not a complete blowout. This ain't going to win every track by track. So let's do this, okay? So we got Trashed versus, oh, well, now I got to take this album out because the track listings are not in order because I know it starts with the ultimate sin. So let me take this out, and let me also count the tracks to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tracks. All right. Even, even the lyrics are in different order. It's, the lyrics start with Killer Giants. What's up with that? All right. Here we go. We got Trashed versus... The title track, Ultimate Sin. Don't really hate that one. I mean, I'm, I, don't, I don't go gaga over the song Ultimate Sin. But I do go gaga over fucking Trash because that song rules. So definitely giving that one a born again. All right, then we got Stone Edge. Stone Edge. Um, which is a tiny little instrumental. I like it. It's cool. But it's going against... Probably my favorite song off this album, Secret Loser. So, that's the one I remember that got a point. Is there going to be more points? Stick around, awesome people. You'll find out. So, I'm giving that one to Ozzy. Then we got oh, Disturbing the Priest. That song is better than any song off Ultimate Sin. I don't even have to look over here. Because I'm giving it to Disturbing the Priest. But let me just look over here to say it. Uh, what is the song? Never Know Why. We rock, rock, lose, you lose, lose to Disturbing the Priest. Next is The Dark, another tiny little instrumental, which is dark. And I love it. I love that little instrumental. And that one's going against, thank God for the bomb, nukia, nukia. Uh, the Dark just nuked it. Sorry, not a fan of thank God for the bomb. Just not a fan of it. I mean, the riff is cool, music's cool, but I don't like the structure, a vocal structure. Like moth to a I don't like that stuff. So uh, three to one so far. And the last track on both sides, and here's where I messed up last week. I didn't bring up Zero the Hero. Going against Never. Ugh. Never. Never rips as far as the guitar playing. Da, 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 da. I like, uh, I love Jake, man. Jake kicks ass. Musically, it's good, but it's not even close. I'm giving it to Paradise City. I mean, uh, her Black Wings. I mean, Zero the Hero. So, for side one, Born Again got four, and Ozzy only got one. Will Ozzy get another one on side two? Well, well, we'll soon find out when uh, we get we we finish this little like I'm doing a little little uh, commercial between uh, side one and side two, and here's the commercial. Guess what? I got hired to narrate a future Casablanca documentary. 
You heard it here first. It's true. Just tonight, somebody asked me to narrate a future documentary on Casablanca Records. How cool is that? Side two, and that's a true story. I'm not making that up. Side two, Digital Bitch, a song that, you know, they said it was about uh, Sharon Osbourne, but then the band denied it. Who knows? I love it, though. I love that song. Going against Rockin' All Night, Rockin' All Night. <sighs> Again, cool riff, but ah, man, I just... Ugh. Sorry. A lot of these songs, like, musically they're good. Very slick sounding. I don't like the sound of it. But a lot of the vocal stuff. There is a song, two songs on this side that I do love. And I'll say it when we get to it. But for now, Digital Bitch wins. And I've, I've heard rumblings of people that don't like Digital Bitch. But you know what they are? They are not me. So, Digital Bitch gets that one. All right, then we got Born Again versus Killer Giants. Now, that's a tough one. See, Killer Giants is one I love. I do love all of this. It's an epic tune. It's awesome, but... You know, I just said but, which means I'm going with Born Again. I like it more. I think it's epic, the way Gillen screams on it. Shit, he screams on the whole album in such a killer, epic, evil way. So, Born Again wins that one. But that one's a, uh, that one's a close one, I gotta say. Hotline. Ripping tune. Love it. Hotline versus A Fool Like You. No, sir. I don't like it. Hotline gets it. Alright, then the final track. Keep It Warm versus Shot in the Dark. I love Shot in the Dark. I love that song. And I love Keep It Warm. I do. I don't know. I don't remember what I voted for last week. I probably voted for Keep It Warm, but I did that a while ago. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. But I'm going to have to give that one a shot in the dark. I know it's popular it's, and it's poppy, where Keep It Warm is bluesy and killer. They're both awesome, but I'm giving that one a shot in the dark. So, in the end, Born Again got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Ozzy got two. What do you guys think? Huh? If you were to go track versus track on this, why do I call it track by track? It's track versus track. Well, it's too late now. Anyway, what would you guys say? If you were to vote for both these albums, track by track, please leave it in the comments below. Because I love reading all you awesome people's opinion, even if it's different than mine. I love hearing other people's opinions. And uh, I would love that if you guys would do that for me. I'm doing this for you. Hey, so if you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And you know it would be super cool, awesome. If you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And, and then click that little bell for notifications. That would be awesome. You know what? I'll say this before I say that SH word. The devil and the priest can't exist if one goes away. Schmack em a gob. For those that use social media, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And you can join the Almost Human 56 Facebook page. All links are in the description below. A lot of you have been asking for it. Schmack em a gob merch. Yes, many types of shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, hoodies, you name it. Plus other stuff like shower curtains and bedspreads and mugs and socks and clocks. And oh, I can go on. But why should I? The link is below. Just click the link below in the description for all the schmack em a gob merch. Order yours now. Schmack em a gob. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault, on Spreaker, YouTube, and iTunes. Subscribe. The links are below.
Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review, where they discuss the latest rock and metal news, as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album, the King Diamond Podcast, with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Vault. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for Those Who Love Politics, a South Park podcast called Suck My Balls, The Infinite Fringe, a watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido, ex Stradivarius guitarist, The Timo Tolki Podcast, and The Great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcasts. So check out RatSaddleReview.com or search Review on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more.